So I was going to do a uh, another video. I, I mean, I have <laughs> I have another uh, video that I wanted to do, which is essentially 10 life lessons that I've learned as an INFP. Spoiler alert! Uh, obviously, that is not happening right now because, I mean, I've done the video, but I haven't done the video. I, I, did, I didn't like what I did with the video. Which brings me to today's subject. Hello, everybody. I'm your friendly neighborhood INFP, and as I just stated, we are going to be talking about mood swings. Now, listen. 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 A lot of the times, people equate uh, mood swings to be a female-only thing, and that only women experience it and every time i hear some guy out there mention it or some person out there mention it always in my head i'm honestly thinking wow they obviously haven't met any of us infps because let me tell you we can suffer from <laughs> <laughs> extraordinarily chaotic and kind of violent mood swings from time to time and now sometimes people will be like oh well you're suffering from depression or oh you're suffering from anxiety or oh you're suffering from that's not how it works at least sometimes that's how it works but not in the case that i'm bringing it up here for an infp we can go from feeling to happy to excited to sad to happy again to angry back to happy to then feeling incredibly melancholic all within the span of one day all within the span sometimes of one hour all in the span of sometimes a few minutes and it happens all at once and we are kind of aware as to why it is happening in that kind of reason or if we are not aware as to why it is happening we very quickly through self-evaluation become aware as to why we're going through it and if we do not become self-aware as to why we're going through it we'll spend some time reflecting until we go and um become aware of why we're experiencing it or if you know worst case scenario uh, we, we we might even have to ask somebody else as to why they think we are going through it people who know us infps are going to be frequently familiar with our mood swings from being incredibly happy to all of a sudden being incredibly sulky with no warning just like that i don't know why it happens to us infps like this but it is a common enough trend that any of you infps watching this or listening to this any of you uh, people who know infps who are watching or listening to this you will understand that you're coming into perhaps a room or a place where the INFP is. And you're like, oh, okay, they're in a good mood. This is going to be great. But then that mood can very quickly, like whether it be based off of a text they saw or something they read in a story or something they saw in their show they're watching or something that's going on or, you know, internal conflict, that mood suddenly switches. Now, this is troublesome because we are often trying, may be trying to do some other stuff. We may be trying to get something done. We may be trying to enjoy our time when suddenly it comes in and hits us like a train. That isn't to say that we show it frequently to other people a lot of the times well and i've talked about this in my other emo emotional videos and like how infps process emotions and how they show emotions and all of that oftentimes a lot of the mood swings go on up in here in in our head um we try to show as minimal amounts of this that is going on as absolutely necessarily possible even though we will have this understanding that some of it will come out it, it most INFPs will agree that when this hits, it's kind of extraordinarily 
annoying because we don't want to deal with it we want we want it to be like a nice steady thing we don't want to deal with like a wave of emotions hitting us all at once that we have to sort through and try and figure out why we're feeling them before we can you know calm down and be you know our chill selves again we don't like doing that it just happens and it is not something that we infps are incredibly fond of shall we say as to reasons why this happened i'm going to try and break it down as simply as possible one of the biggest reasons and biggest moments as to this happening is when an INFP suffers an existential crisis. Uh, when an INFP is suffering from an existential crisis, when they're questioning themselves, they're questioning their place in society, they're questioning who they are, they're questioning absolutely everything, they're questioning whether they've done every, anything worthwhile whatsoever at all, they're questioning whether or not they've wasted their lives away, and those moods will be like going like a madman back and forth back and forth back and forth and we are just sitting still or like trying to like meld through it and we end up stuck which you know brings me to one of the reasons why i am making this video because a existential crisis decided to hit i'm like oh yeah there 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 there's there's the lovely mood swing that i so enjoy listening to said no infp ever so that's the biggest in my mind the biggest reason as to why we are suffering through a mood swing the next reason will be through a realm of stress if we are going through a stressful situation boiled down with feeling insecure that will also bring about a ton of mood swings for the INFP as they're trying to figure out how to de-stress and uh, relax and just chill out and like go at their paces and these stress points can be a wide variety of things to being broke to certain family members to certain friends to something they may have been experiencing throughout the day which could be via work or going to the store or whatever it may be it could even be walking the dog and something happened which then causes a stressful situation because life is unpredictable and anybody who says that life isn't predictable is selling something Wait. Anyone who says life is predictable is selling something because life isn't predictable. <laughs> With this, we have the existential crisis. We have the stress plus our low self-esteem bit going in on there. Then, of course, we have the what I would these would be like what I would consider the big three. So the third one uh, would be we have red or connected so much into a story actually okay big four there is one before that but let's go on with or after that but let's go on what i was saying right now so we're going through a story we're connecting with a character fictional character easily connected to fictional characters e easily attached to fictional characters something happens that then causes us to feel a wide variety of emotions and it's not something that happens to us because obviously we are reacting to something that happens to the character. It doesn't actually have to be the character. It could be even somebody around us that we're watching this happen to. And we will suddenly feel a wide variety of emotions and try and figure out what to do there. Especially when somebody will be going through a hard situation that we don't know how to react to. And moods are just going all over the place. And you're like, oh, well, um... What do I say here? 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 That's, um, I'm sorry to hear that. And we're like, we're like in a state of panic and we're feeling all these emotions all at once. And so that's the reality of it. And then on the character side of things, like, why did this happen to them? Why did this? And mood swings, once again, come in. 
The last one, the fourth one, the fourth biggest reason, probably actually should be the third biggest, but I only thought about it after I was doing the previous one, doesn't matter. Fourth reason, anxiety, which could be tied to stress because anxiety often comes along with stress. Even if we're not stressed out, but now we're stressed out. we sometimes have anxious moments like say you're meeting up with a friend you're not you know you're not stressed out necessarily but you are incredibly nervous or you're going into a new place you're not stressed out but you are incredibly nervous and or anxious and that also causes a wide variety of emotions now you may ask what do we infps do to deal with it nothing healthy i'll i'll, I'll just i'll just say that right now usually because we don't have and talk to people about the things that like suddenly hit us with most of the time infps will do the number one thing that they are incredibly good at escapism we will do absolutely anything we can to escape and not think about the situation we will be like we will pretend it does not exist we will go and play a game we will go and read a book we will go and listen to music we will go and daydream we will go off somewhere else that isn't here whether it be in our mind via distractions any method of escapism that we can use we will use if we don't properly take care of it now how do we properly take care of it ironically the best ways that we can take care about it is either talking about it or with like a therapist or whoever is closest to us or coming to terms with it like embracing it like I, I know it feels weird to say but when i say embracing it i mean accepting it for what it is and then moving on like understanding why you're having them and then trying to go down a path that helps fix it so for example if you're and i'm just going to use this one example if you're suffering from an existential crisis you're going to want to do something that will help prevent you from suffering through an existential crisis are you going to go towards something that causes like changing something that causes the existential crisis so that you no longer have that existential crisis so for example if you're worried about causing meaning in life or not having any meaning in life, you will figure out how to have meaning in life. Now, this isn't terribly easy, but it is one of the, I guess you could say, healthier ways to go about it. Other than those two things, I honestly have no idea. With that being said, there are some more videos you guys can click on if you enjoy this content, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!